halfway though, nowhere near. Matic takes a heavy chunk there. And there's a nice molly as well. The Tixie ran directly into it as well. Another player that most likely will be hitting the deck soon. Luckily, lives off the back of it. Dear, dear me, this has gone wrong for Gladiators. Gonna get any better anytime mm -hmm. soon. BTR are in the building. Are they in the building with us right now? Yes, they are. BTR pulling up with a DBS. Oh, mate, Tixie. Hey, just look, lost blank. Yeah. Like a child in a supermarket who's lost his parents. He doesn't know where they are or wow. where anyone is coming from because it's just frag after frag with the DBS. It looked easy. It looked free on the compound clear with the shotty. Push. They're just using the smokes to hold themselves for now, but Zara nice. is engaging with it. It's a nice first nade. Got the lineup on the second as well, Blank. The nades alone could be enough to deal with them. Man, the long arm on Sara is looking good, but nasty shots coming in from Nakaze through the smoke, takes down a fair few of them. Now Duello left to challenge versus Akaze off in the distance. Nice shot on the edge, but quickly cleans them all up. And what a clean finish there from Akaze at the end. It looked like it was all done and dusted for the squad, but fantastically well held out by Akaze. We're playing Pachinki quite consistently here. They're good at it. Oh, man. What is this? Watching this going down, like just watching all three of the individuals driving by one another for everyone to then finally bombard their way in. Oh, it's grotesque. Forest, though, deforesting Woo! everyone as he chops through them, coming at them like a human hatchet there, chopping down and just slaughtering with the shotty from three teams in one compound. It certainly is, mate. Rough and not ideal at all. That's probably not the way you want to kick things off either. You get absolutely rocked. Basically just taking an elephant rifle bullet to the face. On Inco, drop just underneath San Martin. We're going to get a replay on this one. Was this a mid-air shot? Oh, my oh. God. La Par, bro. That is a horrific way to start your game. <laughs> that as hard as you can here. They know they want more points. It's a very good initial nade that's sent out, but phases on the back line. They're not looking to give this game up. Another amazing nade on the predict over towards Gfan. And Redface is just sending these over and over again. Another one will take down GK first. Now just FSS left left alive. And it will be Redface to stand out for this one. One not go out. Don't let mistakes start to get out of hand. Phase fighting two for nail though. Bombarding down onto Misery, who's forced to hit the deck. So belly down to the ground, drops himself into the vehicle and tries to drive out of there, keep himself safe, susceptible to the shots though, but goes for the getaway. If we can see the res, FaZe will at least have a fair fight in the 2v2 in terms of the players that are currently up, but Evos are going for their recovery as well. They want to grab Link, have some additional numbers in this battle to play with. Quick pop heal as well, nice peek up. Beautiful damage done with the AR. Switches to the DBS and wants to go full frontal blank. He's getting in their faces. What is going on? Already we see another knock come through with the DBS. Misery laughs left alive and he's taking damage here and there. Able to clutch it out. But you do Alliance. They're still in the wings here, Jackie. Yes, can do quite a bit of damage here. Goes for a spin. He's got DBS of his own, but a nice jump shot. We'll shut him down. Rosemary's out again. It's over. Bizzin in the hands trying to evade and avoid the contact. His teammate at least arrives on the scene. So a bit more of a fair fight here. Can Alter Ego actually stay alive on this one? Contact close on the wall. It looked good at the start, but the DBS just too powerful. Tries to get some of Dome. We'll find one elimination, one knock at least. But that will be it. Alter Ego out. Put to a stop, brought down to a simmer as we get towards the end game here. Whilst both these teams slowly but surely will meet towards the center. BTR currently have a very, very good outlook on this one. We'll see what DK, DK can do in this last and final moment. It's looking painful with the amount of ground that's currently controlled by BTR. Yeah, this is going to be a hard-fought fight for DK, man. 
We're going up against the Bigatron Red Villains. The villainy is always terrible to play against, and it's the utility that is doing the work for them. Nade after nade, BTR blow away the competition, and that was under 30. No, Rook. Been looking pretty mean on this one, Blank. Been doing a good job defending the compound, but still playing proactive, still playing super valuable in the approach. Luckily for Rook, they have building after building to clamber up on top of so far. Default has been absolutely phenomenal for this squad. Another spray out over towards Papi Potro. Gets behind the wall for just a second. Nay's been sent over towards Duxan. Tries to cause damage as he makes his approach inwards. But a beautiful Molotov once again stolen by Default. This guy is on an absolute tear this game, Jackie. Rough, but Sitar able to prioritize everyone. Flicking all over the shop. There's even a bonnet coming out as the card goes in. It's getting aggressive now, Blank. The confidence is at an all-time high, and we're down to just two squads. You do versus BTR. Sitar hardly any bullets in that AKM, but he's making it work. The gun hits like an absolute truck. Difficult to control, though, but... Tap firing it from that distance, you can seriously put the hurt in. Six eliminations. If they finish off these last players here, they'll be up to nine for chicken dinner. A 19 point game would be absolutely gorgeous, but it is Olio. I know it's a wild task ahead of him to get the four piece, but already he does find one. Looks to confirm on it too, but Lapar has the tree to go for the cover on the raise. It's a position to play with here. Can Olio get anything more done? Likely not to be the chicken dinner, but if he can at least. Try and confirm themselves some eliminations towards the end. You do Alliance will be getting themselves some much needed points off the back of this one. Yeah, exactly. That's got to be what's going through his mind right now, right? You, you're just thinking about how many more elims can I physically get out of this one? The closer you get to pulling off the clutch, the better it will be. So just confirming those eliminations right now probably going to be what's going through his mind. Survival Nothing. also got to be important. That's a nice knock onto Superboy. So Jens Foss has to back up a little bit here. Oh, Sitar with a quick readjustment, but that baits out the peak. And they're prepared for the swing on that one. It's the back nade whilst his teammates are fighting two for nail. Nade's going down. Who else wants a piece of this fight? What is this? There's three teams on the same compound. Regioso sends out the side into the vehicle to get himself some better angles. He's fighting for his life at this point in time. Spec moves in. Hox sees half HP and Regioso's out on the edge. Surely he spots Juni, but he doesn't inside the smoke. And now Duxan have another battle to get through. Need to get more players back up their feet, but they're falling so quickly, just Hoxie and Juni left alive. Juni, a veteran of these high-scale tournaments, but Nasa move in at the best opportune time. Will pick themselves up nine eliminations off the back of this bad boy too. From Procedure Evos, but a really, really strong one in terms of tacticality. Ciao. Will find the final player there from phase. Mormon goes down, but the shot's coming through. One player left alive now. Here we go then. It's all down to this. Who's going to be grabbing the bag? DX dealing the final big blows. Evos will be able to at least with. They've got a lot of nades to work with. You have the two players in the vehicle as well, with Alex and Godless now diving out. The nades going to land close at their feet. That one's actually chunky. Blows them away. And BTR turning this one on its head. Oh. It looked like IHC has outplayed them, Blank, but they get finished off and completely shut down. Moves coming in, Luxie aggressing, looking for the pickup. Lamborghini's been down as he will fall. Ciao. What more can he achieve on this one? Med's going to be coming through. Levi's on the move again as well. Evos being eaten by the zone. Luxie still trying to backpedal, playing on the edge as he wants to guard the entry to the blue. Having to play from the lower ground now, though. Chow's going to have first contact. It should be a bit easier for him. He's running straight in. Exposes himself. Delayed reaction as Luxie will be able to pick that one up. Quick switch back as well. Levi's going quickly like a blue hedgehog. Gets himself into the zone and stays alive for now, but expires in the end, as that wasn't lucky, it was Luxie. Man cleans up.